right. This is the BTBT one month overview reading for November 2022. It's currently October 19th, 2022, 8.02 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, so I figured, hey, I um, the overall theme and behavior for the month of November, November we have do. a significant move to the uh, upside. It'll stand so out on a year to date chart. I don't know if there's anybody um, that's actually become world famous. It's out like of oversold, se or, or severely oversold territory um, so or to fill a previous gap down, possibly like a short squeeze of some kind. But there's a big move higher to to a more um, appropriate new price for it, like, um, and then it's crossed with or, uh, erratic happy. price behavior um, so back and forth to the same price that, level. So, I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous and like YouTube did or, or filmed it while it was happening. Um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that, being that I'm the only person on the planet that can do what I can do. Hmm, uh, interesting. So, uh, the behavior around the high, uh, we have bumping along resistance, and, like, uh, or, or breaking through, bumping happening. along resistance, breaking um, so through that sort of behavior into the high, but we'll be bumping along resistance the quite a bit there, and, there, and there's a trade opportunity uh, at the high so uh, involving a breakout I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become um, on a one-day chart. Like, Behavior around the low, out of the um, so lowest low, we have do that, a, I should say, behavior on the highest high, we're bumping along resistance, breaking uh, resistance, bumping so along resistance, and there's a swing trade out of the there, there that's involving a break, uh, breakout like, on a one day chart. Or, or and then while it was uh, happening. behavior um, out so of the lowest low, low, low for the month, we have a rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meaning secondary resistance, and then pulling back to the lowest low. I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous in like. Looks like we may hit the low twice. Um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that, being that I'm the only like person on the planet that can do what I can do. Or hit a low uh, twice. So, I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous in like YouTube did or, or filmed it while it was okay, happening. Okay, so, um, so I figured, at least hey, at the end of October, it looks like I'm the only person on the planet that can do what I can do. Decline there. Um, and so, there's multiple headwinds pushing I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become uh, on the first. And, like, um, it'll be like a, a resistance or, or line or and then like this happening. jagged behavior below um, so it, like it's keeping it there. There's a, a uh, low for the, so, uh, our first low or prominent trough for the month. I don't know if there's month. anybody that's actually um, become world famous and there's like a cash out, a uh, cash in opportunity or cash out opportunity, I should say. Um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that being that I'm the only person on the planet that can do what I can do. Uh, so, I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous and like YouTube did or <coughs> filmed it while it was happening. Um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that, being that I'm the only person on the planet that can do what I can do. Uh, so. Yeah, and I don't a decline know if anybody um, that's on the second, and then on the third, there's sideways like fluctuations with the bullish or trend or that precedes a uh, decline as well. Um, so I figured, hey, um, I on the fourth, we have volatility that increases uh, with volatility so as we move forward into the day, and it looks like it's to the downside. Um, and then it looks like we have a significantly large move. It's like either a big gap over the weekend, like a really big gap up to the upside over the weekend, or there's a really Really big move higher on the uh, 7th. Um, like we poke through the same price or level or three times and then um, we so fall um, that, that pretty the sharply there. It looks like there's a universal um, there, so we probably uh, so fall pretty sharp and have like a month's um, pro another like prominent like trough or something or here. So I figured, hey, I should probably do that, being that I'm the only person on the planet that can do what I can do. There's a sharp drop. A lot of price movement at the end of the day on the 7th, and then and on like the 8th we have another huge move to the upside um, so I figured, hey, I um, to reach for uh, probably, the probably a higher high. Do. But that price uh, level where we so do the three pokes through the same price level, that's significant. I want to make sure that I, I, I like mark that price level if I'm trading BTBT in November because um, so that's going to be a price level. It looks like we go higher, but that's going to be a price level that we're going to break through when we have our next uh, sharp decline so um, in BTBT, um, our, which shouldn't be too far off when you start to get a reversal. But we may even so have a sharp drop there. And then we come back and it looks like we reach for just resistance on the 8th. 
reach across the device to open up protection there on the 8th. Um, there's resistance on the 9th and a period of volatility that, it, that uh, uh, has a sharp drop with it uh, that stands out on a one month chart. That's on the 9th. Um, there's also on the 9th a significant move higher. Again, it makes a correlation just like on the 7th. There's also a quote on the 9th correlation to the this adjustment card. Um, and then we have on the 10th sideways rotation. Sideways rotation uh, with a fast sudden like, move higher, uh, marking the end of that period of sideways rotation. And then a rally on the 11th into uh, looks like the month's high again. So there's a month's high on the 8th or 9th. Um, and then so, again on the on the 11th, I don't know if there's um, and that's, that's an opportunity in that in the rally on like the 11th to open up a, a short or, or position. While it was happening. Um, um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that, being that I'm the only person on the planet that can do what I can do. It looks like the high is on the 9th. I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous. It looks like the highs on the ninth. It may be on the eleventh, but most likely on the ninth. It looks like. Um, so and on the eleventh, being that I'm the only um, person on the planet that can do A rally can do. becomes a sharp. There's a rally uh, so, marking an opportunity um, to open up a, a short position. And, like, so our first swing trade there, opportunity was there on the eighth. We have another swing trade um, opportunity so there on the eleventh to open up a short position. So it looks like at the bottom, like at a trough or something here on the eighth. So, uh, before that big move higher, we want to get on the long side and sell that uh, on the 11th, like get out YouTube and open up a short position. Um, sharp, sharp um, drop so over the weekend. It looks like on the 14th, the we have a decline on the um, and a low early in the, in uh, the um, day. Swing trade opportunity involving sideways rotation along with key support like on a one day chart at least, rising to meet the nearest critical resistance and then falling back down and continuing to rotate sideways along support. So, um, that support rotation continues um, into the 15th, increasing with bullish momentum moving forward into the day. And on the 16th, we, uh, we have another correlation to the adjustment card, and there's a significant move higher. I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous. Significant move like higher to um, reach uh, a key happening. resistance there. Um, so I, figured, hey, I, I advise taking that note of the price level on the high on the 16th. Um, on the 17th, uh, the rally so, uh, along a diagonal I trend line breaks down, that's with, uh, breaks down when like there's a fast sudden move higher, followed by a breakdown with a diagonal trend line with increases in volatility way down. Looks like you probably, that probably have another prominent trough for the month there on the 17th. I may have left out prominent trough for the month on the 14th. I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous on YouTube or filmed it while it was happening. Um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that. Being and then we have a move higher through the resistance on the 18th. We stay above resistance uh, um, so briefly, and then we break back down to the same price level actually shortly thereafter with a full retracement. Like, um, that's on the scale of one on the chart. Was um, on the um, 21st, so figured, hey, there is a so overbought crust or peak from the early afternoon that we sell down to, like uh, sound, it sell down to from, and, and um, there's significant bearish um, so price range with a sharp drop that, there on the one on month chart, it would stand out a swing trade opportunity involving um, that, uh, that so over, near overbought crust or peak. That's and then on the, and like on the 22nd, it looks like... Um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that. Being there's that a big the move out of a low. So, I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous and like YouTube did or, or filmed it while it was happening. Um, so I there's figured, a big hey, move out of a, that, out of a low on the, the 22nd the uh, to reach for uh, critical resistance level again, uh, possibly the so, same as the 16th. I don't know if there's um, but then on the 23rd, we have, have a uh, and, like, correlation to did or, or filmed it while it was happening. Um, so I figured, hey, I should probably do that, being that I'm the only person on the planet that can do what I can do. Uh, so, I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become world famous okay. and like YouTube on the 23rd or filmed um, it while it was happening. Um, so I figured yeah, hey, I should uh, probably do that being that again, I'm the only person on the planet there, that can do what I can do. And there's a trade opportunity there uh, involving. So, um, I don't know if there's anybody that's actually become it's world famous. It's a lower low than the like 21st, I believe, and it uh, involves a crest that's an overbought crest um, so I figured, yeah, I in, in the swing that trade. That we have a half day on the, uh, on the 25th. It looks like we end on the, on the uh, uh, 1 o'clock. So 
Um, there's a rabbit behavior there's back and forth between the same place level there. there. Famous and, like, um, and it looks like he did or filmed it while it was happening. Is it a crest um, so that was hey, recently a, uh, not that a past opportunity on the planet in the midst of that erratic behavior? And it's a failed attempt to break you. He was this is called by D9. I don't know if there's anybody that's actually chart. On the 28th, we have a correlation to the adjustment card again. So it's significant move upward at some point on the 28th. The overall trend direction is going to be sideways fluctuations with a potent with a bearish trend that precedes a rally. On the 29th, we have an attempt to reestablish support at a significantly higher level. So I figured, hey, I should probably swing trade opportunity involving sideways rotation along a key support level, rising to the nearest critical resistance on a one-day chart, and then falling back down to that support level and then rotating sideways. On the 30th, we have a U-shaped dip that takes place with a close proximity to the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines. Um, the sneak preview cards are following months in December. There's a significant move higher on our multi year to day chart or one year to chart. A lot of price moving towards the end of the month there. Um, and there's also a significant breakout that offers a, a swing trade opportunity in the month of December. But there's a big move higher pushing the upper end of the range higher. Um, that's BTBT for November 2022, my friends. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Let me know if you want to see more BTBT by hitting that uh, by Type it in the comments. I don't know if there's any Be active. Um, most importantly, guys, like, make sure when you make money from this reading, happening. you pay um, a little so bit of that, that forward, you pay a little bit of it backwards to the channel, and you make sure that you spend all of it out of love. Make sure you spend it all out of love, and you're going to send it back to you tenfold in all directions, my friends. I'll see you on the next one. So I figured, hey, I should probably do that.